One day we shall remember the motto of the Maidstone Grammar School. This film, which takes the form of a documentary, is about the grammar school and it recalls some of the major events that took place during the school's last year as an 11 plus intake establishment. The film was taken during 1971 and 1972 and the people who feature in it are essentially the staff and pupils of the school. Looking at the calendar at the back of the 1971-72 journal, one of the first major events was the visit to the school by one of the Royal Naval helicopters in October, and for this the whole school assembled on the field. Major Cayley, commanding officer of the school CCF, tells us how it was that the helicopter display team decided to visit the grammar school. The Navy have what they call the school's presentation team and they also know those schools who send a certain number of boys into the services over the years and to those schools they send round invitations offering to come and show the capabilities of the aircraft and put on a presentation about the modern Navy. Oh no, indeed, it is for a short period in the year their only job. This particular aircraft and this team spend their entire time, five days a week, going round from school to school in their part of the country. Until 1924, football was the main school sport, but it was replaced at this time by rugby, which has been the main sport ever since then. I asked Mr. Allen, the trainer of the Colts, the team we are watching at the moment, if they had been successful this year. Yes, they had quite a good season. We won about eight matches. We also got three or four boys through to the Kent County Trials. I then asked Mr. Melly, the trainer of the under-14s, the team playing at the moment, how they had fared this season. The under-14s did very well. Uh, they were defeated about six times, but in each case by teams that were technically better than they, but they didn't let themselves down.
Mr. Newcomb, Master of the Lower School. What do you think of the school as a whole, as its academic record? Well, as a whole, I think it's um, kept up its reputation very well as an outstandingly good local authority school. Um, I don't think it's diminished in any way in that respect. Um, at the best level, we've had a very good academic record uh, all through the time I've been there. I've been proud to be associated with the school from that point of view. Um, the people who do worry me a bit, I must admit, are the ones who clearly haven't got very much out of their education while they've been with us. So they, uh, they leave school after six or eight years or whatever it is, and they don't seem ever to have read anything or to learn to appreciate the arts or to understand the sciences or to be able to think straight, and there are quite a lot of people like that. Um, I always think when I, uh, of people like that uh, in connection with Milton's line, the hungry sheep look up and are not fed. And I think when they come as first formers, they are hungry sheep. And the question is, why didn't they get fed? Uh, is it that um, we offered them the food and they just bit the hand that fed them? Uh, or is it that we weren't offering them the right sort of food? This is the last year that we shall have the first form, uh, which is a thing I personally regret very much. I do enjoy the first formers and their freshness and liveliness and their oddity. And uh, um, while it's very nice dealing with older boys, one's lacking something a little bit, I think, if one doesn't have the younger ones as well. Uh, I'm glad to say we finished off with an exceptionally good first year this year. I think I would be very pleased with them. Mr. Good, the school caretaker. And what are the problems that you face looking after a school? Well, the biggest problem is cleaning, actually. You know, keeping the place clean. Of course, there's a lot of damage done by certain faults. It won't be mentioned. But uh, 